what's up everyone? This is Eddie from Average Joe Drinks. And I'm Vince, and we're here to make drinks suitable for the average Joe. Just like my dad intended when he spent the better part of his life collecting drink recipes, we've got over 11,000, we're gonna share some with you now. Yeah, we're Average Joe, so we figure we try as many as we can, and we're bringing you the ones that we think taste the best. So sit back, enjoy, and please try this at home. So today we are going to be making, I'm gonna be making, Sex on the Beach. By himself. Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> we're in Arizona. There's no beach anywhere near here. But there is a cocktail called Sex on the Beach. And what are you going to make, Vince? And I will be doing a slippery nipple because we're trying to keep a theme going here. <laughs> <laughs> when we're trying to decide who is going to make which drink. I said I would much rather have sex on the beach than a slippery nipple. So I chose first. And he's bigger than me, so here we go. <laughs> so uh, Sex on the Beach was actually invented Depending on who you ask, in the 80s, there was a bartender that came up with a drink with uh, peach schnapps, vodka, lime juice, and grenadine, and he served it up, and people asked him, what is that called? And he was in Florida, and he says, well, sex on the beach, because when you go to Florida, that's during happens. spring break, you're looking for the beach, and you're looking for some sex. So that's what he called it. Pretty much any drink invented in the 80s was either music or sex. With some drugs thrown in there somewhere, but yeah. I don't know, but, well, we might have to do that as a, as a shoot. What drinks can we come up with that are named after drugs? Oh no, I think I was thinking of the cocaine tour, the, the, oh, the tequila, tequila sunrise and cocaine tour. Okay, no sorry. cocaine was used on this show. Ever. Or any other drugs. So this drink is, has quite a few ingredients, and so we tried probably four different versions. In the, the original version, it seemed very harsh. We don't know if it was the, the cranberry, cranberry juice. juice, the lack of sweetness in there. So we made a, slight, a couple slight modifications and we'll talk about that. But for the most part, we've got an ounce and a half of these three ingredients and then, which is vodka, orange juice, cranberry juice. And cocktail. then we- Cocktail, cranberry juice cocktail. Cranberry juice cocktail, yes. Because you want to talk about bitter. Yeah, it'd be even more harsh if we didn't use this, the cocktail. And then peach schnapps, and this is where we varied a little bit, the golden agave. And this is what we found kind of took the edge off the drink a little bit. They say that the agave sweetener is actually like five times the sweet as sugar, right? Yeah. So you don't use as much and that's what they say. I don't know if there's a sweetness scale that we could draw into. Um, I don't know. I know that there's a Scoville scale for heat, but I'm not sure about sweetness. So we're gonna an ounce and a half per drink of vodka. How many drinks are you gonna make, Eddie? We are going to make two drinks because there are two of us. And you always want to make your friends happy. <laughs> Did you see the look he just gave me? <laughs> sort of if I'm on that well, I'm making you sex on the beach until I'm making you happy, so I just want to make sure I know what's going on here. <laughs> that explains the dirty look. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was my, uh, my sexy look. It wasn't a dirty look. <laughs> We're going to put, again, an ounce and a half each drink of vodka, orange juice, and cranberry juice cocktail. So obviously there are a total of three ounces of liquid in here. So far. I should have put my lids on. We're gonna move those over here. Three quarters ounce peach schnapp. Schnapps. That's well, there's more than one schnapp in there. I only found one schnapp, so I just I just call it peach schnapp. I don't know, man. Somebody somebody needs to look that up and put it in the comments below. <laughs> Three quarters of an ounce of peach schnapps. And since we're making two drinks, I'm just gonna do an ounce and a half because I can do math that fast. Half an ounce of agave per drink. And I'm gonna shake this up. Shake on. And there you go. And the great thing about after you're done shaking, the cups just two cups pop up. magically appear. And these show up. One of the things you gotta work on when you're when you're making drinks at home is just having stuff appear when you need it. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> and non-breakable utensils are really good if you've been testing drink recipes all morning as you get ready for a video shoot. <laughs> You know, you can put an orange slice in there, but I think it's good like it is. Thank you, sir. There is your sex on the beach with some crushed ice. I like the crushed ice because it actually makes it look nice in there. Makes it look sandy. It does. So there you go. Cheers. Now, if you watch the woo woo video, we did that with peach schnapps, yep. multiple schnapps. Mm, that's good. Cool. I think that the, sh the peach is what gives this like <coughs> the really cool flavor. Yep, it does. It's a very unique flavor. Oh yeah. See, we tried that before and it was harsh. 
But with the agave in there, I like that drink actually now. And the cranberry, the cranberry juice cocktail gives it just enough tang, but not too much. Yeah, it's funny because right before we came on the shoot, I was talking about the fact like I don't know if I like that cocktail, but I think this slight variation, I think it's a great cocktail. So there you go. There is your sex on the beach. So what do you got, Vince? I am going to make a drink that also came about in the 80s called the Slippery Nipple. Vince has a slippery nipple. I do. Just well, one? not yet. We're both going to have a slippery nipple you here can in just have two. a second. Good. <laughs> and it really does take just a second. This is a very simple drink. Um, like all of the 80s drinks, it was come up with in a bar. Somebody thought the name was cool. Truth of the matter is, it's not the best shot we've made. Actually, it's probably kind of low on the list. But it's got a great name, so that's probably why people order it. It's a layered shot, yes. Yes, you know, there's nothing better than walking in with a girl you just met on Tinder and saying, slippery nipples all around. Maybe they swipe left or right, I don't know which way that is. I don't either. I actually have never been on there. Neither have I. I think okay. I, I've me and Lisa on. hooked up before before that thing was invented, so <laughs> thank goodness for that. <laughs> I could have yeah, functioned in I, that world. I can't handle that rejection. <laughs> Quit swiping right, or whichever the wrong way is. <laughs> uh, it's a layered drink. So if you can go slow, the Sambuca is very much thicker than the Irish cream. Oh, you know what? Why don't I give the recipe? What a good idea, huh? I That's think the recipe's cool. a good idea. People Let's like that, that kind of stuff. It's much more so delicious. It's 50 50 Sambuca and Irish cream. Okay. Sambuca is a licorice liqueur. I guess Irish cream is Irish-ish, right? Alcohol and milk, why not, right? Very tasty or cream, stuff. I should say. And that's it. I mean, that's as hard as it is. Now, my dad's recipe actually calls for a drop of grenadine in the middle, and I think the idea is that it's supposed to look like a nipple. But what ah. we found out that it does is it drops straight through, it drags the Irish cream into the Sambuca, and then the Irish cream curdles. So it's not nearly as good of an idea as it sounds like. Don't dr chew your drinks. Correct. Only drink them. Drinks that, drinks that. Drinks you can chew are bad. For the most part. <laughs> so there you go, sir. To people who desire such things. To people that want a slippery nipple. Cheers. It's a shooter, you gotta drink the whole thing. You know what? I get a lot of the Sambuca. Licorice-y. Which is great if that's what you yeah, like. Yeah, I mean, some people love black licorice and this would be a drink just you know for what? you. I mean, like, hardcore dude. That's interesting, because the licorice hit me like right away, but then as it kind of settles in, you kind of get the Baileys, and it's not bad. Which is funny, because yeah. the Baileys is on top, right? Yeah, it is, it's weird, but you just, I mean, you get a really good punch with the, the Sambuco, or Sambuca, and then now I actually kind of like it. It's That's an interesting drink. It's huh. cool. So, don't do the grenadine, don't go for the nipple look, it's not as cool as you seen. Yeah, I, I didn't know I was going to like a slippery nipple until now. <laughs> Something to think about, even people who don't like Sambuca like this. That is such an interesting, that's probably one of the drinks that hangs on the longest that I've ever had that I actually enjoy that long hanging on You don't thing. like them when they come back up and you <laughs> take them a second now time? Now that's different, I wouldn't <laughs> like that. Anyway, so if you like what you saw today, we'd ask you to do a couple things. If you would please give us a like on YouTube, um, we'd love to hear some comments. If you give this a shot, maybe you do try. Oh, intended. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice one. Um, <laughs> um, check us out on Facebook. We've got some very funny content over there. So get yourself over there, check that out. And then please share. We'd love if we could kind of build this community up, get some more people watching us, getting some great content out there. Sharing is caring. We have a blog, AverageJoeDrinks.com. We're on Instagram. Somebody's trying to figure out how to tweet. And that's it. Please drink responsibly. Back there. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.